Hello everyone, my name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. About two years ago, we were appointed to design this two and a half story private residence that was located at Moncara. Every episode, it is our vision to be able to share our experience and knowledge that we have gained over the years of experience pioneering the design scene to educate and share in hope that we could improve the interior design and architecture scene all around the world. So, today's episode on Design Seed, we felt that this project has a number of ingenious details that we felt we could share it out with you. Before we begin, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please click on that subscribe button and slam on that notification bell to stay in the loop of our upcoming compelling design episodes. Our clients for this project both have very unique personalities. The young couple were bold, stylish, and they knew what they wanted to achieve, but just couldn't put it into reality. When we first visited the property, the first impression we had was it was a relatively long property. We couldn't really feel the spaciousness of the property because there were too many walls dividing the general space and the house was literally relying on artificial lighting at most of the time. The first thing we did was to recreate a larger impression of the entrance foyer. We demolished the walls to what was initially a dark media room and turned it into an open family hall. This made the entrance to the property feel more welcoming and roomy. The initial living hall had a lopsided orientation due to the steps that leads down to the sunken living area. The sofas were tucked at a corner with the backs facing the entrance. We relocated the steps to the right, which now allows us to reposition the living area to a central axis and the TV wall was designed to give the living area a better privacy. If you're familiar with New Infinity's design, this is one of our signature trademarks. In New Infinity, we have always encouraged and educated our clients to alter the ego of practicality. What we did here was to transform the initial storeroom and balcony into a hidden powder room that gives our clients, friends and family a delightful element of surprise. Because the powder room sits on an existing semi-outdoor balcony, it is always ventilated. For privacy, sliding timber shutters are applied to screen out when privacy is needed. The standalone basin with an overhung oval shaped mirror is complemented by the hanging planters above the ceiling, creating a mystical experience as you enter the space. To achieve this enchanting outcome, we hired skilled spatial, floral and landscape designers to work meticulously to weave this carefully curated masterpiece into the fabric of the space. long corridor that leads to the rear of the property was initially untidy and dark. The space beneath the staircase was literally utilized as a storage space. We decided to demolish the wall and create a floating staircase effect that would allow natural lighting to flood into the property. One of the most impactful changes to this project that appeals the most in achieving a luxury touch has to be the selection of marble. 
because 这个屋子也很久了 ，like 它已经有十五六年的 history。Then the previous、um, marble was you know not in the condition anymore. Like we want something different, and I like something warm, so I choose this marble, grey Saint Laurent. Marble selection is a very crucial part of interior design. We need to be very involved and patient in selecting the right pieces and where it's going to be placed. The flooring selected for this project is by Mamo Marble, contributing to an overall sense of luxury that guides you towards the rear of the property. At Mamo. They take pride in being the industry leaders, offering the widest range of natural quartz and marbles, all available at their factory. Their commitment to quality extends beyond the quarry. They have cutting-edge facilities in place to cater to clients' every needs. The marble selection process is an art, and at Marmo, it's a masterpiece. Picture this: before a single cut is made. Witness the vision come to life through their advanced three D drafts. Mamo believe in giving you the power to shape your dreams. Every piece of stone at Mamo is carefully handpicked. Their experts select only the finest, ensuring each slab is a testament to modern contemporary design. Mamo doesn't just sell marble; they deliver an experience. Your spaces deserve the best, and they're here to make that happen. The existing dining and dry kitchen was swapped from its original floor plan. After speaking to the owners and understanding their lifestyle, I wanted them to practice utilizing the dry kitchen space more as the heart of the home, with full-on built-in appliances and even complete with a wine chiller. This dramatic kitchen design is not just a space to enjoy breakfast, but when day turns to night, the elegant kitchen turns into a flaming bar to host friends and family. This dry kitchen, I think, it is a very practical space, but it has its own character. Like in the morning, our breakfast is always in the dry kitchen. Then it's very cozy. 到了晚上的时候 ，when baby 他已经睡着了 ，then it's a bar. Like when you open the light, it's it turns into a bar. Yeah. The dining area was curated to be tucked aside to elevate the private dining experience. Cozy and quiet, surrounded with timber panelings and a hidden door to the mystical powder room. When you head up to the first floor, the open space was initially a study area that was cluttered with boxes and files. We built a stretch of storage and filing cabinets to stow all the necessities inside and reorientate the sitting area to be an island seating. The open study area initially didn't have its own bathroom. We tapped into the guest toilet. To recreate another toilet that caters for the convenience for this study area, the client's brief was to have their bedrooms designed to feel humble and cozy, like a five-star hotel, but not to be too busy. However, the brief was to have a spacious and impressive bathroom, and here's the outcome. I talked to my ID that I want to um 打通两间房间 I want my bathtub, and I spend a lot of time in my bathroom. To be honest, every day. So yeah, I talked to him that I want a big toilet. I find out 到那一个 column 时候，其实我是很不喜欢的 That I don't know what to do with it. So I just gave my ID, lor. I just let them think. 
then yeah, they come up with a H. I really like it. Talk about a dream wardrobe. After understanding the client's lifestyle, we created a hidden story space that showcases her fascinating collection of heels in her bedroom. From the front facade of the property, it may look like a two-story bungalow. However, the property was built on a slope allowing half a story basement at the rear. The condition of the existing basement was dilapidated. The walls were cracking and water was leaking. However, the clients emphasized on not wasting the space and giving it life again. Without squandering the client's budget, we transformed the basement into a humble, dimly littered entertainment space for our clients to host parties away from the main annex of their Jensen home. To keep the space dry and not humid, we designed the extension of the basement to allow for skylights and operable folding doors to allow for fluent cross ventilation. With the landscape design of the courtyard wheel, this basement has certainly been brought back to life. Initially, the basement is very run down. The previous owner had just found a wood in there, but it's quite a big space. It's like there is about 1,500 square feet, that land size. I told my ID that this basement can be made into an entertainment area. Because I think this entertainment area is like a different part of the house. It's 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 like a different part of the